What is up, Conscious Monkeys? Welcome to another episode of Catch Up with Clayton. As always, I am your host, Clayton. And in today's transmission, today's podcast, we are talking about, we're going to be talking about manifestations. I got a couple tips for you that I learned myself over the weekend. I've also got a movie review about the menu. I will do my best to leave out any spoilers. And Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's released on Thanksgiving. So this is a huge one. And then we're also going to get into what is in episode 056, which is releasing on Monday. But first of all, I want to let you know that the meditation retreat is coming in. We have it set up. You can click the link below. I do want to let you know that because you're a podcast listener, I'm going to be offering you a 10% off discount. I love this because I want to reward the people who are listening to this podcast frequently. It's going to be at checkout, type in pod listener 10 to get 10% off. Prices will increase December 31st, but more on that as we approach it. I just want to let you know, go check the links below. And for now, let's jump in to what it is we're talking about. I do want to start with manifestations. Now, this is a huge one myself that I've been trying to work on. So for me, my personal goals have been manifesting a million dollars a day because I feel like that would be like a crazy sick achievement to be able to say that I'm making $1 million per day. And the other one is to appear on more podcasts, more highly ranked podcasts. The big one being, of course, I think as we all know, the Joe Rogan experience. And so those are my two big goals in my mind for career and the direction I want to take my life. A million dollars a day and beyond the Joe Rogan experience. And over the last several months, I've realized that it has not been manifesting almost. Like the wheels have kind of been turning on sand. I haven't been almost directed in that direction directed in that direction, <laughs> haven't been going in that direction as much as I want. And something that's kind of come up is that I need to focus on smaller achievements first. The idea of, you know, so hypothetically, let's say I'm in the energy of making a hundred dollars a day and I want to move that to a million dollars a day. The problem is, is that energetically speaking, my body, my energy, the vibration at which it takes to make and be responsible for $1 million today is so foreign to me that I am not physically able or mentally able to conceptualize what that vibration feels like. So to embody it, to be a part of it is so foreign that it's out of my reach per se. So what this leads to is breaking it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. So what that looks like for me is instead of a million dollars a day, and here's what I did is I wrote down a million dollars a day and then I started backtracking. So if I want to ever hit a million dollars a day, I got to hit $500,000 per day. If I ever want to hit that, it's $250,000. And so then I kept just backtracking down until I hit a goal that seemed a little daunting, but energizing at the same time. Excuse me. Burping a little bit here. And the goal was is to see which number, which value, which dollar amount per day kind of invoked a little bit of energy in me of, yes, this value. Like this is a little bit scary, but I'm able to do it kind of deal. You'll feel that energy as you kind of go down that list too. And this is also something very similar for the Joe Rogan experience. Joe's the top of the top. He's the best. Anybody who is a podcaster or in the media world, their goal is to get on the Joe Rogan experience. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not everybody's goal. But I assume that a lot of people would want to be on it. It's a very knowledgeable guy. He's immensely intelligent, far more than he would have you believe. And so the point that I'm trying to get at here is that I need to break down the people that are below him. What is one podcast below him. Okay. Then the one below that, then the one below that. And then you kind of get down to this like huge conglomerate of a bunch of podcasts, which are very small, right? Even some that are smaller than mine, which is totally cool. I'm not trying to downplay anybody, but the point is, is that am I even comfortable going on someone else's podcast who's smaller than me? 
And the answer was, is that some of them actually invoked that energy, that kind of like anxious, you know, energy that I was feeling with the money. And so that to me shows me that that's where I should be placing my focus. And then over time, I'm able to then extrapolate upwards to get to those higher level desires, the ones that are going to take more energy or just be such a different vibration that will then come in the line with. So hopefully you can take that again. I'm just going to rephrase real quickly. Take whatever the big goal is that you're trying to achieve, whether it's money, whether it's a relationship, whatever it is, that's another good one. Say you want kids and a family. How do you know what that vibration feels like to you? You kind of have to backtrack a little bit and say, okay, well, like I want the vibration of being with girls, being around girls, and then build yourself up from there. So the case is, is to take the big thing that you want and break it down into bite-sized pieces so that you can slowly align your energy to those things that are a little bit closer, that are on the right path, but towards your ultimate goal. And based on how that feels to me is that it would actually accelerate the process because you're starting to build momentum in this with these things that you and the deem as being smaller and then slowly building your way up. So highly recommend that for anybody who is trying to manifest something huge, like you want to do something big with your life. Consider that break it down smaller pieces. And we can transition this actually into being grateful because we got Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving. Well, I'm recording this on Wednesday in the IG live chat knows that it's Wednesday, but when you're listening to this, whether it's on YouTube or the podcast, it's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. And I do want to call back in what we talked about whenever there was Halloween, because this was something a little bit of an epiphany that I had whenever I was doing the Halloween episode. It's that Halloween, if we look at this in the broad spectrum between October, I'm in the middle of recording. Sorry about that, guys. We'll leave it in because <laughs> that shit's always fun. Uh, if we look at this in the broad spectrum of where were we? Oh, damn. Maybe I'll have to cut it. No, no cuts. I like this shit being raw. Life isn't perfect. So why cut out the things that are imperfect in the podcast? Okay. So we look at it between Halloween and New Year's. So Halloween represents death. Thanksgiving, which we're approaching, represents being grateful. And then Christmas and the New Year almost call us to lay out what we desire or what we want to call in for the next year. And so I can only imagine, like I used to think how crazy it was that these three holidays were so pushed and squished together. But I find it so amazing now that I'm breaking it down like this because it makes so much sense to me. It's like Halloween is let the things die off. What are the things that no longer serve you? Let them die, release certain things. And even people who, if you're looking on my YouTube, if you're looking on the podcast, I even said this right before Halloween was that things were starting to crumble. Things that no longer were serving you for your highest good were starting to fade away. So I highly encourage you to even look back on your life, see what was happening in October. I guarantee you things were dying and falling away. Now we're moving into the energy. I guess we've kind of been moving into it a little bit more. This is actually crazy because we had a whole conversation about this last night at dinner, but that's giving thanks, giving appreciation, being grateful for the things that are still in your life. Even after all that shit last month hit the fan, all that shit that had to die, had to go away for you to then embody it. Be grateful. This is your signal, your sign, your calling right now to be grateful. Be fucking grateful for everything that is in your life right now. And I know for some that that's going to be a lot more than others, but this is not about others. Do not compare yourself to others. This is about you and you and me and being grateful for what we do have in our current life today. And I believe that that is what has been the energy that we've been called to in this last month. And it'll still stay around a little bit into the beginning of December. But what happens then is, is as we transfer and translate into the new year towards Christmas, we start to tell people what we desire for presents and gifts. We start thinking of new year's resolutions. And I used to not really be much of a believer in new year's resolutions. I kind of always saw them as this thing that it was like, you know, 
what was the, how did I kind of phrase it? I didn't believe in new year's resolutions. And I saw it more as like, if you wanted to change something about your life, just do it at any point in time during the year. And I believe that there is utility in that, but now kind of getting connected with the cosmos and the universe and the sun and everything as humbly as I can say that I do believe that there is utility and truth in calling something in for the new year, like a meta goal or a meta thing or energy, because that's kind of what everybody's doing. So why not set that for yourself as well? And I assume that there has to be some sort of energetic principle that's similar with this. I can't really put my finger on it. Something about that feels right, but I can't fully articulate it. And maybe hopefully I'll be able to articulate it a little bit more when we get to our Christmas and new year's catch up with Clayton episodes. So that'll be exciting to listen to. I'm going to put that intention out there. Hopefully I'll be able to articulate that a little bit more. Next up, we have a movie called The Menu, which I saw it this weekend. It's rated R, <clears throat> so no kids. And just, wow. If you haven't heard of it, do not, I highly suggest, do not watch any previews for it. I highly suggest that you do not watch any previews for it and instead just go in without knowing what to expect. Again, if you have kids, leave them at home. If you're a little squeamish with blood, leave that at home and just go for it without knowing what you're getting into, because there are so, so many themes that are occurring in this movie. It's amazing. Like I took away like four different themes from it. And then my dad, who I saw it with, took away like three different ones that I didn't even see. So it is a very complex movie in those regards. So I just wanted to give it a quick shout out to all you listeners uh, to go and check it out. Woo. I don't know why my nose is running for some reason. Let's power through it. Ba ba ba. All right. Up next this week, we got episode 056 with a beautiful soul called Electrosoul444. She's huge on Instagram and TikTok. So hopefully you've seen her stuff. She's pretty cool. She kind of has like this edgy, I'm not sure what the word is for it, edgy vibe that she brings around the spirituality community, which I think is very unique and original, which good for her, because I think that's a huge reason that she has resonated with so many people is her ability to articulate these things in a very like edgy girl kind of way. I'm not sure how to articulate it, but hopefully that didn't, hopefully I'm sure Electra would actually find that as a compliment. So hopefully if Electra, you're listening to this, <laughs> you found that as a compliment. Um, also, I should note that the videos are no longer available on YouTube. I moved all of those to my app. So if you click the links below or you go to travelingconsciousness.com, travelingtoconsciousness.com, or in your, what are they called? Apps, the app store. You can also search for traveling to consciousness, download the official app. You'll be able to watch all the videos, but it will be like, a, I think it's $8 a month. Make sure you purchase Make sure you purchase on the website because it's cheaper there. And yeah, that was kind of it. It's a super dope conversation. We get into a lot of things that I have never talked about before on the podcast. So I'm going to leave that as a cliffhanger. And so you got to go onto my IG page to see the title of it because that's where you're going to get the most information from. Um, and with that being said, I'm going to bring it to a close and tell you guys that I will see you all in the sixth dimension.